Hey everybody, I have a lot of pain, so if you have pain, maybe you can learn from some of the lessons that I've taken. So, I invest in a lot of different pain management stuff, and most of it doesn't work, so hopefully you can see what worked for me and implement that in your life while avoiding the stuff that doesn't work. So, today I have a few things that I wanted to cover. It probably won't be a long one. Uh, this is a thing that cost me a couple hundred bucks. This is called a quell and you can't really see it too good let me get it in there so this wraps around your leg and you strap it on and what it is it's like a tens unit and if you're not familiar with the tens unit i got another tens unit i'm going to cover in a sec but it basically just gives you like little shocks that you can barely feel throughout the day and it's supposed to curb your pain now this might work for some people you know i like to I like to hear other people and what's worked for them and implement that stuff. Um, it doesn't mean this won't work for you, but this didn't work for me. So at least I, I couldn't tell. Um, sometimes I'm like, you know, thinking, is it working? And I'm like, well, maybe. I can't really tell. And if, if that's how you feel about something, chances are it's not working or just really not worth it. So the quell didn't work for me. But now we'll get to the traditional TENS unit. These are much cheaper. The Quell was like 200 bucks, but this is just your basic TENS unit. It's got these little pads that you can just put on any part of your body. And uh, you turn it on, it gives, it gives you shocks. And you should really turn it on a lower setting. You don't want to turn it up and crank it up. But I do feel this does help a little bit, especially on my back. Uh, but I have to put it right on the spot. Whereas the quill goes on your leg where you have no injury. So maybe that's why it doesn't work. This has four pads and you can basically pick two different spots, put it on that spot, and then run it for like an hour on a low setting. And I do feel like the TENS unit does have a little bit of a benefit. I know for me, it helps especially on my back and shoulder area. Because my, my right arm is jacked up. I can't really lift it too much. Although, I've been working on that quite a bit lately. Um, next, I have a light therapy machine. Now, this is an anti-inflammatory light. So, what you do, it's pretty simple. You just plug it in. And you put that on, like, any spot that hurts. Now, this is pretty easy to use. Um, it has you know, multiple settings, low, medium, and high. Now, I'm not sure why you would ever crank it up to anything other than high, so that's always what I put it on. Um, but uh, does this work? I'm not really sure, um, but it's pretty easy to use. So I might just put it on my knee or my arm or my shoulder while I'm watching TV, and maybe there's some benefit from it. It's not too expensive. And I do know that light therapy is supposed to work, so I, I just put it on sometimes. So not, not too bad of a device. Now, if you really want the maximum pain relief, I find a simple Epsom salt bath is a pretty good option. So here I have Dr. Teal's Pure Epsom Salts. So Epsom salts can be a bit expensive, uh, you know, you have to use a lot of it. So you have to put two cups of this in your bath, and I usually do three, um, just to get the bath going. So you can run out of this pretty quickly. So I like to buy this at Costco. Costco definitely has a much cheaper price than everywhere else. It's like, it's like you know one third the cost versus if you buy it at the grocery store. And if you if you really have a lot of Epsom salt needs, uh, you can buy it online in bulk for even you know cheaper than that. So Epsom salt baths work really great. Um, you have to stay in there for at least 20 minutes. I usually do 30 just to make sure I'm getting a good benefit. Uh, but sometimes I don't want to take a bath. And you know, a lot of my problems are my hands and arms. I got, I got tendonitis that goes from my elbows down to my hands and into my thumbs. Uh, it's pretty miserable. So if I don't want to take an Epsom salt bath and I really want a concentrated blast of the Epsom salts, I just get something like this and uh, you know I'll put it on the floor put a couple pillows against the couch 
and I'll just put my arm in it and I can get, you know, my arm, you know, halfway up to my elbow. And then I'll at least get my hands and, and all this stuff down here. And then if I want to do my feet as well, after I'm done, I usually just boil a little bit of extra water to heat it back up. And then I'll throw it into something like this and then I can put my feet in it while I watch TV. And I find that Epsom salts is really a, a good thing to get and it's relatively cheap. So you can find out if it works for you without spending too much money. And you know, there's lots of things that you can try and I've tried a lot of things over the years. Uh, I think the most expensive thing I've tried is a cold laser. I ended up buying a cold laser. I think it was like $3,000. Um, but it had a 90 day trial period. You could try it out for 90 days. And if you didn't like it, you could send it back. So uh, I know my chiropractor had one and I, you know, he ran on my arm for like a second when I was there. And um, so I thought I'd just get one. And I know the ones that you can buy for your house just don't really have the same power even if it's a $3,000 one. Those ones that the, the medical people have are like ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 units. So uh, I don't recommend you go that route. And then even when I sent the unit back, you know, it took me months to get my, my money back. The guy didn't really want to send it. So, uh, you know, be careful about what you buy. And if you really want a cheap, good benefit, uh, the Epsom salt is really a great way to go. All right, everyone, I hope this video helped, and I hope to see you next time.